Insta fam. Um, this is Rachel. Um, today on Facebook and YouTube, I did a sermons, a sermon called a uh, songbook. It's where where I go through like uh, three songs and say what God has taught me through those secular songs. And um, in in that, I ta in the second part of songbook, I talked about how don't let um, bitterness settle on you. Let life make you better. Don't let your past make you bitter. Let it make you better. And when I was sitting, um, when I was ruminating on this, the Lord said, there is more to do. And this video is a special is especially for Instagram. You did Facebook, you did YouTube, and now you're going to create one especially for Instagram. Um, I will put the links for today's ser sermon called S Songbook, part one and two, in the description box so you can take a look at those sermons. But, um, he said, when I was ruminating on the message from today, he said, I want you to do a special, um, video for Instagram and say, if you let your past make you bitter, it will create a poison, and that poison will sit there and rot in you. So sometimes um, why people are mean and so stingy and rude, it's because they let their past make them bitter. And that bitterness turns into resentment and that resentment turns into poison. And when poison happens, it can it does spread to everybody. And the Lord wants you to know there's freedom available today. There's freedom from your poison, uh, poisonous past. There's freedom from your, um, from whatever you're going through, whatever you're chained chain to today. The Lord is saying he's breaking chains He's freeing you from your past. He doesn't want you to sit in bitterness today and let bitterness destroy you because that's what's happening. And bitterness can be loud and bitterness can be quiet. Bitterness is loud when it comes forth in anger, in uh, verboseness, in... Um, in aggressiveness. That's when bitterness is loud, when people are angry and they're exploding. That's one kind of bitterness that's poisonous. Another more insidious kind of bitterness is the bitterness that is quiet, the bitterness that seems without people knowing, the bitterness that is passive aggressive, where you do something uh, to someone passively um, to make them get your way and you try to manipulate situation, situations. God wants to free you from that kind of bitterness today and freedom is available just for the asking. Not only the asking of God, but the asking of those around you. Those around, bitterness and anger beloved, are not getting you anywhere. They're just keep keeping you sick and in pain. The Lord wants you to have joy. The Lord wants you to have peace. 
The Lord wants you to have everything that he's designed for you, but he can't give it to you because you're still stuck in your past and in bitterness. Let go, reach out, and you say, if, I, if I've been like this for so long, if I let go, who, who would I be? The person that God ordained you to be. That's who you would be. So trust him. Trust that he wants you to live in freedom, to walk out your destiny, to walk out your purpose. And he wants you to have joy. And he also wants you to be happy. To me, happiness is situational. It goes up and down. And joy is just consistent. A consistent lightness of attitude. That's what I think joy is. So no matter what's going on, you can have joy. And sometimes you can have happiness, which is situational. And happiness is not a bad thing. It's, it's, it depends on the situation. So the so Lord wants you to have both happiness and joy. And get rid of those, those, that bitterness, that resentment, whether it's a loud resentment or a quiet resentment. And if you need help, don't be afraid to reach out. Take one little step, make one little call. Re- reach out to, to God and reach out to those around you. He loves you, beloved. He doesn't want you to walk in fear or pain or regret. He wants you to walk in freedom. God bless you.